2023 BMW M8. The mind-bending acceleration delivered by the BMW M8's a 617 HP twin-turbo V8 is strong enough to get the car to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. At 10.7 seconds the M8 reaches 129 miles per hour as it covers a quarter mile of road. That's quicker than a 710 HP Ferrari 488 Pista from something with a rear seat weighing more than 2 tons. Chalk it up to all-wheel drive traction and an overachieving engine. The M8 is crazy fast, but its smooth delivery of felony speeds and its bolted-to-the-road stability make driving fast feel almost responsible. Available as both a coupe and convertible, the four-door M8 Grand Coupe is reviewed separately. The M8 cockpit is well-appointed and uses a large infotainment screen to handle navigation or audio selection. However, its rear seat isn't a practical space. As one of the most affordable cars that will get you into 10 second quarter miles every time you try, the M8 is a big coupe with even bigger performance numbers. What's new for 2023? There are only a few changes applied to the BMW M8 for 2023. The kidney grille has been slightly redesigned and now illuminates, and every M8 receives a new 12.3-inch infotainment display. Since the M8 Coupe costs considerably less and is better suited for racetrack action, we'd recommend it over the convertible. Both body styles come with a handsome number of standard luxuries, so we'd only select options that help unlock the M8's of full performance potential. These include the M Carbon Ceramic Brakes, which BMW says reduce weight and are built to better withstand track abuse. To ensure owners are best prepared to handle the coupe's brute power, the M Driver's Package includes one day of performance driving school. Even better, it raises the top speed limiter from 155 to 189 miles per hour. The M8 is powered by a twin-turbo 4.4-liter V8 that makes 617 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. The Mighty Mill pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission and a rear-biased all-wheel drive system that can disengage power to the front axle. We've spent some time behind the wheel of the coupe and convertible M8 competition where we marveled at their refined manners and right-now powertrain responses. When we strapped our test gear to the 4,251-pound M8 Comp Coupe, we were blown away by its ridiculously quick acceleration, reaching 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Despite an exhaust note that doesn't quite excite like rivals from Mercedes-AMG, the BMW is blindingly quick, and its automatic is brilliantly perceptive. Although the all-wheel drive system is intended to provide rear-drive thrills, we found that provoking power slides is best left for the safety of an empty parking lot or a racetrack. The M8 didn't punish us on regular roads, thanks a compliant ride that belies its track-focused capabilities. However, don't mistake its pleasantness for weakness. The M8 chassis has tremendous levels of grip and telegraphs some feedback to the thick-rimmed steering wheel. The M8's a combination of quickness and nimbleness makes it a compelling partner anytime the road opens up or turns twisty. Unfortunately, more than half of the coupe's 4,251-pound curb weight is over the front axle, which could contribute to its reluctance to rotate more freely. Likewise, we found the braking system's adjustable pedal feel less than engaging. The M8 coupe and convertible are expected to be equally fuel inefficient in the city and on the highway. That is to say they're all expected to earn 15 MPG City and 21 MPG Highway. While we haven't tested any M8 on our 75 MPH Highway fuel economy route, we'll evaluate its real-world MPG once we have the opportunity to do so. For more information about the M8's of fuel economy, visit the EPA's website.